Bell with us today. Um, we'll do the live section of the press conference and then I'll call an embargo, which will be for 10.30 this evening. I'm sure that everyone's seen our statement of earlier today. Uh, Pep and Juanma have both tested positive and they're both isolating at the you know, current stage, along with a number of other positive cases within the, the, the bubble. And Rodolfo will be taking the team for tomorrow. I'm going to start with questions, please, from Ben Ransom. I would ask if you've got questions to use the raise hand function on the Zoom, um, and we'll come to you individually before we call that embargo. Okay, Ben, fire away. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, Rodolfo. I know you are in the middle of a developing situation very much, but can you give us a bit of an insight into how this week has unfolded with regards to the COVID outbreak? Well, we've had, uh, as you mentioned, a COVID outbreak, and and at the moment we are uh, with seven players unavailable, uh, plus uh, up to fourteen staff. So there is quite a big outbreak right now. And listen, we are going, we are getting it day by day. So we don't know where we're going to end. But in this moment, is this seven players uh, out for COVID due to COVID and and fourteen staff. I'm sure I speak for everyone on this side when we wish those affected well. But have you spoken to Pep? How is he and what's he said? Well, he's, uh, he's fine, obviously. He's got the, the virus. Uh, fortunately, he hasn't got uh, a lot of symptoms. Uh, so, uh, but yes, and we are permanently in touch, uh, obviously, like, like, like we would be here. But instead of that, so be a Zoom call or, or simply via call, like we always do. But instead of live, so obviously through the technology. Thank you, Ben. We'll go to Simon Stone next. Hi, uh, sorry about that. Could you just explain how you go about picking a team for tomorrow then? And obviously you've said seven, seven players. Are they seven senior players? Are they younger players? What, what kind of squad will you have for tomorrow's game? So at the end of the day, it's possibly been one of the, the most easiest lineups that we have had to decide because we're just going to play with the ones that we have available. We don't have much more. But uh, our aim is to keep playing as much as we can, uh, trying to respect all competitions and, and trying to, as I said, uh, keep playing. And at this moment, we can, we can fill the team. I don't know in the following days what is going to happen. But right now, uh, again, it's an easy decision, an easy lineup to decide because we will play with what we've got. It's going to be, obviously, we have some first-team players and some others that we're going to come from, from our second team. Thank you, Simon. Uh, James Savundra. Hi, Rodolfo. At this stage, do you think the match will go ahead tomorrow when you consider there's 21 cases amongst players and, and backroom staff? Is there a fear this match may not happen and, and would you like the game to be postponed? We actually have prepared mentally for, uh, for the game. Uh, we have to prepare that uh, for the game uh, to happen. And this is what we've done up until now. And we keep going this way. If then tomorrow, for whatever reason, it's not possible because there are uh, more news. Uh, this is out of our, our reach to know right now. So, uh, But right now, yes, we are prepared to play the game. And we have been preparing the whole days. And mentally, we are, we are ready for it. Thank you, James. Uh, Mike Minet. Hi, Rodolfo. Uh, good to Hi. see you. How much disruption has this week caused or is it just given what's gone on in the last year with COVID and, and the games etc is this actually sort of a, a plan B that you've had all along and, and know what to expect here at the end of the day all of us all the clubs are suffering some some were some weeks ago some right now and some is going to be later we are trying to cope with it as uh, as best as we can we we are as a club we are going back to the protocols that we established from the very beginning of the pandemic every time more and more uh, some sort of restrictions trying to minimize the risk uh, here at the training facility and in terms of uh, obviously there is a little bit of anxiety because every day we have to test like all the players from any other clubs and almost everybody's expecting every day who's going to be today, who is, uh, we are going to be three less, four less, no one less. And all of this, obviously, there is some sort of anxiety right around this, but as it is normal, as it would happen in any other kind of job or in any other club is happening right now. 
So nothing different. We are coping with it. We again, we are trying to establish the protocols that that we introduced at the beginning of the pandemic to minimize the risk, and and we are taking it day by day. Thank you, Michael. Um, Stuart Brennan. Hi, Rodolfo. Hi. Um, hi. Could you tell us which players um, you'll be without tomorrow night at this stage, and whether you've got well, you've you've had to bring more young players in to to compensate? Again, this uh, this is this is not for me to say. Uh, we have seven players. I have to prepare a game tomorrow. We have to go again. We don't know if tomorrow we are going to have uh, more players unavailable. And right now, listen, I would not like even to mention them because I might forget one, if that makes sense. So uh, in the end, it's seven players that are unavailable. And again, and 14 staff. And and I don't think it's for me to say right now. Could, could you tell us um, if you've had to bring... Are any young players going to join the squad that may not have been with the squad? Yeah, no obviously, one. to fill in the whole squad and to be able to travel with uh, at least five, six shops... Uh, we had to bring some some players from the second team, but also we have had the outbreak. Also involves uh, players from the second team, so the situation is not is not that easy. So the second team, we also have had uh, plenty plenty of COVID cases, staff as well. And but again, uh, there is no excuses, and we are going to travel with uh, with the team. There is going to be a mixture of of both, and we will we will obviously go. Uh, we will uh, go for the win and, and try to get the best out of the game. Thank you, Stuart. Uh, Ryan Walker. Okay, Ryan, you need to unmute yourself, please. Good afternoon, Rodolfo. Thank you for taking the to us today. Um, if I can actually just turn your focus to the match tomorrow, first of all. Um, how do you assess the difference in quality between yourselves and Swindon Town, who who sits in League Two? And and you know what 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 do you make of Swindon Town going into this match? Listen, uh, you know better than than me. This is a competition. This is the oldest national competition, uh, football competition. I believe it's uh, one hundred and fifty years old or something like that. There is a lot of histories, and and again, you know better than me, where uh, lesser teams or, or smaller teams uh, beat uh, big opponents uh, because the competition that uh, it creates a great uh, atmosphere and a lot of enthusiasm, and and every everyone is trying to to make proud their town or their village or their city or, or whatever. There is obviously a difference in terms of uh, quality of players. Uh, this is obvious, but these are these kind of games where everything everything gets uh, very close because of the FA. The FA is something special. Actually, this is one of the titles that us as a staff and as a players, we are more proud that we have achieved in the in the last six years. And, and for us, it's, it's very important to do well and to try to get into the next stage. So. I think it's going to be a very close game, like uh, like uh, in any other tie of this competition, and we have to be prepared for that. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, Peter. The last question we'll take for the embargo will be from Marie Indich. Um, if I can ask if you do have questions in the embargo to use the raise hand function now. Yeah, thanks very much for uh, for taking our questions today. Swinning go into the game um, on the back of a really positive win against Northampton at the weekend. They're really fired up for this. What challenges do you think they will present for Manchester City tomorrow? Again, it's a team that we have been able to to watch uh, several games, including the last game against Northampton. That, as you mentioned, they they won five two. They played a great game. It's a team that tried to play the ball from the back. Uh, they are quite aggressive also. Uh, and, and again, uh, we are ready and we have to be ready for a, for a top challenge uh, like, like against any other team uh, would be in this competition. So we expect a, a very tough game. OK, we'll call it a 10.30 embargo for this evening. And we'll start the embargo, please, with Simon Baskowski.